Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Toolbox. Today I will be talking about all the remaining analysis for two stage op amp. Uh, this is the continuation of my previous video analog circuit sizing with soft bidding. Previously I have shown uh, as the gain and phase and CMR analysis. And uh, now I will be showing some other analysis uh, of op amp in this video. So stay tuned. So this is the analysis list I will be performing in this uh, demo. PSRR uh, measurement using SC analysis, uh, slew rate using transient analysis, power analysis using transient analysis, uh, ICM analysis using DC analysis. So let's go to the uh, demo and see how it can be done. So this is the PSRR setup for PSRR analysis using SE analysis. So for that I have just uh, connected ground to the positive input and negative input is given to the output for making it unity gain and I have given an SC magnitude 1 volt to the power supply to check its rejection ra ratio. And using this setup, we will perform SC analysis. So for in ADL, you have to set up SC analysis using this uh, setup. Okay. Then run it. So it's completed. Now go to results, direct plot, SC gain and phase. Now for PSLR plus, we have to select PDD net and V out net. PDD by V out. First PDD net, then V out net. Now delete the phase plot, not required here. So this is the PSLR plus uh, values 85.8 dB. PSR plus is 85.8 dB. Similarly, you can also plot PSR minus just go direct SC gain and phase BSS by B out. So, this will be the negative PSR. In this case, it will be same for both the case because I have given positive 1.8 to minus. 1.8. So all magnitude are same and also SC magnitude are same. So in this case it will be same. We want to see it again. PSS by B out. This is again 85.8 TV. So this is it for PSR analysis. Now for slew rate analysis we have to do transient analysis using a pulse signal and this is the setup for slew rate. You can see here I have given input to the positive terminal and the negative is again given to the output feedback as a feedback for making it unity gain and I have given a pulse in this form depending upon your specification you have to set the period according to your load capacitance everything so this is the parameter you can check i have given a pulse of this specification now in adl i have set up transient analysis transient tran letter tran and i have given a 15 micro stop time and i'm just running it So it's completed. Now results direct plot transient signal. So select V out and press escape. So you will get this type of waveform. Here this is the uh, settling time of the op amp. So you have to check for it for uh, reducing the settling time in your design specification according to your design equations. So for slew rate, you have to select this waveform. 
send to calculator now function there is a sleeve rate function so you can check the maximum value what is your maximum 99 999.72 milli and minimum value minus 123.5 micro 51 max 6 micro so using this you can set the values i have set it and press ok initial value and final value is set using according to the waveform maximum value and uh, minimum value press ok then you can also copy it or you can press here to send it to ADL in that window and you can also do run again to see the values or you can press this evaluate button to check the slew rate. So this is 12 volt per microsecond specification. So according to our specification it is meeting our specification slew rate we have set more than 10 so it is coming and you can also verify it by running it again so 12 mega means 12 volt per microsecond so this is the slew rate setup analysis This is the power analysis setup. For power analysis, we will do transient analysis to get the dynamic power. So for that, I have given one sinusoidal input with 100 microvolt amplitude, one kilowatt frequency. This is truly based on your uh, specification. Um, frequency is based on your bandwidth. So for that, we will go to ADL. Copy from cell view for any variable 500 milli common volt voltage BCM0. Uh, we will now simulate it in differential mode. Analysis use transient 10 milli conservative. This stop time is based on your uh, time period of your input signal. So, more than the time period you can uh, give. Here. Now go to output, save all, check all button, uh, all checkbox. Now run it. So it's complete now. Go to results, go to tools, result browser. Press run. This is the power. So this is the power plot of your op amp. Uh, 382.5 maximum to 374.25 watt, micro watt. So this is the power plot of your op amp. Running with power. You can check the average of it by right clicking on the waveform. Send to calculator. Click on function, average, calculate. So, 378.4 microwatt is your power consumption. Or you can click on this button to take it in your ADL so that you can check the value directly. So, this is it for power analysis part. Next, we will see ICMR plot. How we can get the ICMR? So, for ICMR analysis setup, this is the setup where again I have done unity gain configuration. Negative terminal is given to the output, and we will give a DC input to the. We will check the DC variation of in the input terminal, and corresponding the tail current drain current of this M5. So for that go to ADL
common mode voltage there you go analysis you have to choose dc component parameter you have to select the input voltage source and we will vary the dc parameter of the input voltage source from a large range minus 2 to positive 2 or maximum range and at the output we will plot input voltage versus the tail current of M5 now let's run so this is the ICMR plot where we will check the values where the MOSFET M5 or the tail MOSFET uh, goes to saturation and we will mark the range so for that press B marker and check the ranges suppose if you consider this point and this constant voltage up to this where the current is constant now so this is the ICMR max and ICMR mean uh, found from the simulation so you can check the this is a 30 microampere as we can see you can check the values 30 micro we have given and this is the maximum current flowing and if you want to check the check the plot of m1 you can also check the current of m1 you can also check see this is the m1 current of 15 micro 15 almost 15 micro so properly my current distribution is going on and we have marked the where our mosfet is uh, going to be in saturation this is our icmr range so you can see this is the uh, max max icmr 1.5 volt and this is the bin icmr that is minus 795.03 millivolt so this is the icmr mean and this is the icmr max so this is it from icmr analysis so hope i have given you some valuable information regarding the analysis of two stage op amp and uh, if you require some other analysis then please comment in the comment section and subscribe my channel for future uh, videos and upcoming videos and uh, please uh, give uh, your feedback in the comment section whether uh, what type of analysis what type of uh, videos you require uh, that can be uh, beneficial for me to make such videos for you thank you